new details on issues neighbors are seeing with rental companies in Charlotte. We first brought you this story last week when fake landlords scammed a mother moving into a house and paying the scammer money. Turns out the rental company First Key Homes actually own the property. Tonight, residents in a different part of town tell WCNC Charlotte Julius Kaufman a First Key house is causing issues in their area too. Houses in this Ballantyne neighborhood are filled with families, while this rental sits empty. It's been empty for quite a while. It's owned by First Key Homes. While it's vacant now, we spoke to neighbors like Patrick Arney, who says squatters took over the house earlier this year. We really didn't know who they were. Neighbors say the tenants claimed to have been duped by a rental scam, gaining access to the house through the lockbox. He said that he was kind of um, scammed, that he had paid somebody money, that they weren't legit. Steve Brock says they trashed the house. It was destroyed. And stayed for months. They uh, just took possession of the house one day. Squatters are people that take over a property without legal ownership or paying rent. They actually have rights in North Carolina, meaning you cannot get them arrested for living in a property. Instead, a homeowner must go through the judicial eviction process, which can take months. It can kind of make you concerned about your own welfare and what they might do. First Key eventually evicted the squatters. The company says it places materials on homes and online to help educate the public on rental scams and says, quote, we regularly visit and inspect our homes for safety, security and general well-being. When asked if they plan to get rid of coded lockboxes, the company says contactless service is essential due to COVID. Maybe they should do a better job of vetting um, before giving out an electronic key to get in the house. Neighbors say they're staying vigilant, keeping an eye on the house to prevent future issues. In Ballantyne, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte. And there isn't any oversight for corporate rental companies like First Key in North Carolina, but housing groups are pushing for lawmakers to change that.